Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and uh, we talked about coaxial cables yesterday on the live show and including what cable, what type of cable has the least amount of loss or what should I use if you have, uh, you're listening to the VHF UHF spectrum and have an outdoor antenna and especially if the coax you use is very long because, uh, you know, it depends on the length. Uh, if your coax is extremely short, there's not too much cause for concern most of the time. But if your coax is long, you have certain loss within the uh, coax itself. And the higher in frequency you go, the more loss that is. So depending on what you're going to tune, if you're always in the low VHF range, it isn't too much of a problem. But if it's uh, gigahertz that you're trying to tune around, that might be a problem. Well, here is a coaxial cable attenuation and power handling calculator. And this is really nice. So what you do, you go here. So for example, my standard cable I'm using right now is RG58. Let's check here. So you search for your cable, RG-58. And here's going to give me that. Now, if I want to listen to the 800 megahertz range, and my coax is, say, 100 feet long, when you calculate, it's going to actually tell you how much attenuation you have for such a coax. So here, it says 13.6 dB attenuation every 100 feet at 800 megahertz. So that's a lot of attenuation if you want to hear signals, weak signals particularly. Now, you might say, oh, well, somebody told me RG6 is good. You choose RG6 in the list. And you calculate with the same RG6. So here it says, once again, 13.6 dB for the 58. If I calculate, now I'm 8.2 dB per 100 feet of attenuation. So RG6 is definitely better than RG58. Now, the, the one that I want to purchase is LMR400. And let's check that uh, 400. Here we go. And let's calculate here. LMR, only 3.7 dB attenuation per 100 feet at 800 megahertz. So, you know, depending on the cable you're going to lose, you're going to use, you have more or less, more or less attenuation for reception and uh, especially for transmission also that could be important so lots of information in here the average power um, all sorts of little um, details here so um, i think this is a nice calculator to have handy for anybody in the vhf uhf range so um, this is i uh, definitely uh, a a uh, thing to keep in mind. The uh, coaxial cable attenuator and power handling cal calculator uh, is definitely a nice tool. I'll post a link in the description below the video. You'll be able to compare cables that you have or cables that you wanted to purchase uh, to see what you should buy depending on where you're listening in the spectrum. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.